Fallout 4 has been rated M for Mature by the ESRB. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, this is AJ22 coming today with some more Fallout 4, and this is the first episode of Chapter 3, technically speaking, but it is going to be a bit of an unconventional episode because this is going to be kind of like a compilation episode of sorts because I am recording this first part separately from the second part. So let's get right into this. First of all, you may notice a few different things about Sanctuary that weren't here last time we were here in-game, and that is because after returning from the Glowing Sea, Melanie and Piper learned that Somerville had fallen to some unknown group out in the Waste, and while Melanie wasn't surprised by this, since they had, like, a whole bunch of really, really dangerous things, literally a stone's throw away from their front door, it did come as a bit of a shock. Then... Uh, while she was trying to decide how to go about things from that point forward, Melanie heard that another one of their settlements had come under attack and was not able to reach it in time to save anyone and ended up having to retreat. Um, I did record that a little bit, but I decided for story purposes not to uh, include it in this video because it was kind of... it was very disjointed and sloppy and didn't really fit that well. So, from a role-playing perspective... At this point, um, Melanie decided to return to Sanctuary Hills and really consolidate her defenses here. We now have a military tower with all kinds of room to store ammunition, and as I get spare ammunition, I will bring it back here. There's some storage down here, some storage up top, uh, one up further, I guess. Yeah, here we go. Bunch of storage there. Uh, we went ahead and put up some more defenses over here. We have we now have a clinic and a medical storage in this building here. Um, there's traps everywhere. These little Tesla arc things. Uh, spotlight, laser turrets, uh, three gates, one heading towards the uh, path up to the vault, one heading down to the river over in that direction. And this one here at the main entry to town, all of which are defended by turrets. The tower itself has turrets. Uh, what else? Uh, there's now a military barracks over here. And we put the angry woman on um, artillery because, quite frankly, it seems like she would be suited to the job. In here we have just a basic military barracks. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. Yeah, I'm going to artillery you in a minute, lady. Uh, there's... What's her name? Cr Trash Can Carla or something? She's kind of a bitch. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I cleaned out this house here, because that seems to be where, where most of the NPCs are send spending most of their time. Uh, I did a little bit, little bit more work in the player character's house, including installing a new stove, which really only fit out here, so I put it out here. Uh, as well as some containers inside. Uh, I put a ceiling fan in there. I think that's pretty much it. And then next door here, uh, we have expanded our crops considerably, but we don't have people actively tending to all of them, so only some of them are growing. Um, whoop, didn't mean to do that. Only some of them are growing. Piper, what are you doing? Um, as fast as they can be. We have a bit of a market set up here in the middle, which has been bringing in small amounts of currency periodically, and I've been working at this for a long time, so I've made quite a lot, a lot of money just from that. Um, walls now surround the entire settlement. Uh, I do plan to expand this also, for those who are wondering. 
and um, spread the beds out a little bit more to allow people to kind of have their own houses or whatever. Then over here, I'll show you this first because actually that's my favorite. This over here, I used some custom stuff to make little jail cells just because, like, from a role play playing perspective, it would make sense to have them. Uh, what else? Yeah, this one. This is my favorite. This is the bar. It's just a prefabricated shack with, um, I put a dumpster over here, a cigarette dispenser, and an ashtray, Nuka Cola uh, dispenser, which doesn't actually dispense Nuka Cola. I actually would have liked if you could do that, like, hire somebody to bring There's shipments of it here. in. We'll find it. I already know the story here, Piper. Um, tables out here. You come inside, we've got a pool table. A uh, little bar area over here. Where are you? In? Those were all standing up. I don't know why they're not now. Um, TV, flags and decorations, puppy picture because it's a puppy. Uh, garbage can by the door, jukebox. Going upstairs. We have a bunch more tables. And then I've got lights and ceiling fans around the area to keep the place well lit. And I just really think I did a good job here. Also, outhouses over here using more custom doors so that I can stick them in there without it actually having to be a door frame. I'm just really proud of it. I think I did a good job. Uh, overall, I have kind of turned this place into an actual legitimate community. And I know some of it's just superficial, just like, um, well, superficial is literally the right word. It's, it's just there to be there. It doesn't really exist for any specific purpose. Um, it, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. We now have, let's take a look here. Uh, defense is up to 99. And food is up to 12. Water is up to 22 because I put some pumps around the area. Uh, happiness keeps going up. We've got plenty of beds. And I put up, where is it, this settlement recruitment beacon here. And the way I'm justifying letting the other settlements fall is I'm going to say, well, we put up these beacons so that people who are out there who would go to one of those settlements would, will now know to come here instead. We already have an additional guy who showed up. I'm assuming because of this, and I'm hoping we get some more so I can get them on farming, get more food, and um, eventually get more people, and consolidate all of our settlement stuff to just this one area. Because there's plenty of room. I could build more houses here if I had to. You'll also notice the streets are a lot cleaner than they used to be. That is because I have installed a mod that allows you to... Actually, this might be something I can pick up so I can actually show you. Yeah, here we go. Normally these things that are just little bits of... Um, mesh and texture that sit above the texture of the road but you couldn't actually pick them up. They are now actual scrappable objects. Uh, before that you would have to go into the console and use disable to get rid of them if you didn't like them being there. And it has just cleaned the place up and made it look a lot more like some place that people are actually living in. And I believe the mod I have installed that gives me more options for building will let me replace this tree. So once the, the uh, Settlement has been thriving a bit longer. I plan to replace this tree here with a living tree. Just for effect purposes. Like, it, Once again, it doesn't actually do anything. But this is all role-playing purpose stuff, and I'm really enjoying it. I also um, have quite a lot of supplies. I have built up a whole bunch of stim packs. Um, let me go in here real quick, and I'll show you. Um, where is all of it? So I, I made, uh, what's it called? First of all, I still have this, which is very nice, uh, very useful. Where is it? I've still got the Mysterious Serums. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those or not, but I still have them. Uh, lots of purified water, which I really need to use to make some stuff. Uh, I should probably plant that, too. Um, where was it? What was it called? I remember what it was called. Um, refreshing Beverage. There it is. That is awesome. Look at that. You make that using uh, various recipes, and you, it takes a stim pack to use it. Oh, did not mean to do that. Uh, it takes a stim pack to make it. 
uh, as well as a few other ingredients you may get at the cooking pot, and it's fantastic. Absolutely a, an awesome thing. I should actually probably go see if I can make more of it before I leave. Um, what else? I'm using these black rimmed glasses now. I'll show, actually, I'll show you my outfit in a minute. Um, but I bought some things from Carla. I bought... Where is it? This. The boosted plasma sniper rifle. I don't have a lot of plasma rounds, but it's still a very nice weapon. Um, what else did I pick up? Still have the minigun. Um, still carrying that. Still carrying this thing. I'm loving this thing. Just the look of it is amazing. And I finally have a few shots of the with this thing that I can, you know, actually make, which is interesting because I'd really like to see exactly what it does. Uh, let's see, is there anything else in here worth looking at? And please note, this setup will probably be a bit different uh, once I move on to the second half of this video. Still have the Fat Man. I still have a mini nuke for it, too. I thought it ran out. Um, anyway, I mentioned at the end of Chapter 2, go over in, here in the light, that I really missed uh, Melanie's patchwork raider look. So I went back to it. I used the crafting work workbenches from the crafting workbenches mod to craft raider components, and then I modded them up. And the chest piece is a sturdy raider chest piece. I think the arms and legs are also sturdy raider pieces. They're not, like, the most powerful um, armor ever, but I'm still right around... 140 to 150 in terms of my resistances, which is perfectly all right with me. Um, oops, wrong button. And I'm still wearing the um, newsboy cap. Otherwise, my armor rating would be even higher. But I'm really liking her look right now. You've got the general's outfit, which is very um, respectable and proper, mixed with the... What, are you selling armor now, Piper? That's fine with me. Make us some money. Um, mixed with the patchwork, ragged look of the Raider stuff. I, I'm really enjoying it. Here's our new settler, I think. What are you doing? You're supposed to be working at the, uh, farm. You should get on that. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and do a little bit more trading, see if we've gotten, if we've managed to scavenge any stuff I can resell. And then we're going to head over to Diamond City for a couple of reasons. First of all, Piper's been mentioning Diamond City a lot. Um, she's been s saying that she's happy to be away from it, but I know better from our talks earlier, and I really think it's about time that we get her home to check on her sister and check on the paper and just check on the town in general. Uh, I want to see if anything that we've been doing has been impacting people's dialogue in the town. I'm kind of curious about that. And um, I also want to see about that player house, or what I'm assuming is a player house, in town. And that's going to be the second half of this video. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get around 2,500 caps and then head over there. Because, I don't know, even if even if the house is more than that, that, that will allow us to like buy supplies in town and stuff without really having to worry about it. Uh, either way, yeah. I will see you guys then. Alright, let's make sure she actually does this again. Yep. Fantastic. Alright, so now I should probably cancel out of talking to her. consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. Not really sure how this chest piece cage head thing fits inside the power armor. I guess it actually kind of doesn't, does it? It's my plan right now, but things could change. It kind of clipped through, but then stopped clipping through. I don't know, it's weird. Whatever. Anyway, off to Diamond City. Alright, here we are. Uh, I eventually did end up fast traveling because nothing was happening, but... Piper. Yeah. You're not going to believe what happened. Shen Kowalski tried to kiss me. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd I do? I knocked him on his ass. Now I've got detention. She's adorable. Oh, Natalie. Never change. And you're super.
Fiber, grounded. Now go. <laughs> <laughs> Fiber you're adorable too. Be prepared. Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, you pick in the paper, right? You're 200 years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Well, I mean, my skin is made of metal, as far as you know. So you know. I just I just now noticed the home base there. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, anyway, there is. Uh, hey, see that big blimp? What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Why are they here? I'm still trying to figure that out myself, buddy. I'll, I'll let you let everybody know as soon as I know something. Yeah, there you are. He, he must be the night salesman. I haven't been back here since I wondered that last time. Good work. Most sense scared the hell out of me, but Nicky, he ain't like those institute psychos. Oh, good. Somebody who's at, who actually has some sense. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out of the power armor here. And I'm gonna have Piper leave hers behind as well. Hey, what you got for me? Mm, time for some travel fuel. <laughs> Want one? Yeah, sure. Why not? I need you to get out of your power armor. You got it. Come on. There you go. Just need to maneuver her so that she um wasn't in a position where she couldn't get out. And actually, I need to pause for just a moment. I need to address something in the IRL. All right, sorry about that. Um, let me go ahead and show you. I do have 2592 caps at the moment, which I'm hoping is enough to buy this, assuming that it is what I th it is actually a house like I think. Oh, thanks. Um, but we'll find out. I'm assuming... Can I take this down? They might get mad if I do that. Dad says not to talk to strangers. Well, then you shouldn't be talking to me. Um, I'm assuming that I have to go up to the mayor's office to buy it. Um, so, and it could be more than this because I think the first player house in Skyrim was like five thousand gold. Of course, caps and gold aren't equal, so who freaking knows? But let's um, let's see. I'm hoping it's right around this so I can just go and sell a few extra things and um, and get it. I might have enough already. I don't know. Uh, I could just look it up. I don't want to look it up. I'm go I'm thinking 2,500 because I think I think I remember seeing a comment uh, somewhere of somebody mentioning it was 2,500, but I I could be wrong. All right. I don't particularly like the mayor. Talk to her. Does she have anything interesting to say? Housing permit. Like housing permit. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. Okay. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Interesting. Um. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. Okay. It doesn't tell me how much it is, though. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Okay, 2,000. Not 2,500, 2,000. Which is better than I expected, to be perfectly honest. Uh, let's... Head back down. Piper, I don't think he'd appreciate you going in there. He doesn't seem to like you very much. Come on. Let's get going. Making sure I don't actually fall this time. Pipes, come on. There you go. Alright, let's go check out this house. And that'll actually probably be the rest of the episode. Um, I might um, go in, take a look at it, then see what I can do to fix it up and then um, once that is all done even if it takes a while for, for me to fix it up the way I want that I'll probably end the episode off talking about what I did to it all right and I still have like 590 caps which I can use to pick up stuff in town which is always nice 
I'll, I'll come back and see you in a little bit. What was your name, oh, I Percy? Don't hope you're here to make a purchase. It's what I live for. You know, the sad thing is he's probably entirely serious, so I'm, I'm, I'll just buy something from him. The highest quality available. All right, so I bought a few things from him. Um, now a little over encumbered, but I'll be able to take care of that in a minute. Uh, I'm assuming there's some kinds of, of uh, storage in here. We did visit your home in Diamond City. Yeah, it's pretty boring. But there does look like there's some storage, so let's go check it out. And there's stuff in here to scrap, too, which is nice. So, Rad X, I'll take that. This place is big. He was right. Or she was right. I'm still think I'm still thinking of the freaking robot. Um, the lady at the mayor's office was right. Um, is that like an actual full bottle? Yes, so I'll take that. Don't need the apples, but I'll take those. Um, what? Really? Okie dokie. Jeez. And there's tons of stuff to scrap in here, so this should get us started. Um fixing the place up so I'm gonna go do that to get the place looking fairly presentable and I'll uh, be back once I have done that to round out the episode yeah this is why I was a little over encumbered back there because I just could not help buying a walking cane for a melee weapon I'm not gonna use it but I, I like canes IRL so I I, I literally couldn't help doing it. Just wanted to throw that in there. Alright, so that's about it. I'm starting over here in the more boring area because um, there's this entire area over here, and I get that you were able to like put furniture in it and stuff, but I kind of found that completely unnecessary. Like, literally everything we could need fit in the other half of the room, so I was assuming they let you do um, crafting equipment and stuff in here, but you can't put crafting equipment in here so I'm I'm gonna wait and see if a mod ever allows you to do that and um, save this area for that but I will put a little area over here for dog meat should I ever bring him out here um, without showing the other room I put the bathroom in here um, you can't put walls up or else I would have put some walls up around the bathroom but it's still out of the way you can't really see it unless you're like in this area here which right now we're not really using for anything. Uh, coming in here, I try to reuse as much as possible. Can I move this out of curiosity? No, I cannot move that. That's a shame. Um, coming into here, I tried to reuse as much as I could. So I reused the patio furniture that was in there and the chair that was with it and made a little table to sit at and eat. Um, I reused the ottoman, the end table and the couch from stuff that was in that room and then I built this chair the lamp the terminal the rug and the coffee table the television over here since you can't build walls I put up some storage shelves and this is the master bedroom um, which I guess I could have put in here and made it bigger but this room just feels so big and impersonal it just didn't really feel right so I put it in here with kind of everything else Minuteman flag um, ceiling fan a desk which I tried to put a terminal on the on the desk but you can't actually get desk mounted terminals uh, and then up here which I didn't even see the first time through I made a little room for the kids I put a bunk bed in here which is from a mod some paintings of little cute kid friendly things and then I think both of these were things I salvaged from the storage room I'm not really sure and then up here even further which I, I'm gonna end up I'm gonna eventually put some uh, like storage stuff up here but then up here and I also didn't see this before you can come outside onto the roof and while you can't go into the workbench menu out here, there is this area here. And then out here, you can sit and kind of overlook the town. It just gives you a good idea of how big it actually is and how much of it is actually just 
junk. Like, just stuff lying around. And how little of it is actually taken up by buildings, which is kind of interesting. This area is large. Um, anyway, uh, that's, I'm, this is, I'm sure, where dog meat would actually go if we sent him here. He'd probably hang out up here. Um, we got a chair there, a bathtub for some reason, a grill and a patio chair. And then we can actually jump over here and actually do a little parkour across some of the rooftops, which is kind of neat. Anyway, that's the house. And um, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly enjoyed making it. Um, next time, we will continue on with actual story-related stuff. Um, that's, But that's, yeah, that's it for now. I will, um, I will talk to you guys later. Like you at all, here. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. I like Our our turret, though.